some of the stuff we're going to do involves landing on one foot, which makes it harder and a little bit more dangerous. If you're not game shape, if you're not ready, if you're maybe a little bit heavier, whatever, I suggest doing these drills until you get that comfort in your, your ankles, your knees, and your legs to finish off the move. It really sucks to do cardio drills and then talk because you just want to get your, your, your energy back. Okay, now we're going to do what's called, that's, that's drill one. You can do it for time. You can do it for quantity. Let's say you're going to do six passes non-stop. Doesn't matter if you're looking like dog crap. By the end of it, fight through the fatigue and get it done. You can also do it for time. What I meant for time is give yourself a minute and do two passes. If that's easy, then try to do three passes. Once you finish that minute, give yourself like a 30 second break or a one minute break, whatever you want your rest period to do, and then do it again. Don't change the interval, the working interval. I want you to focus on trying to get your work in, in that working interval. So let's just say I did two passes with a minute and I finished it in 53 seconds. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take my seven seconds that I've, that I've basically finished it ahead of time. I'm gonna take my break, my rest period. Then I'm gonna do it again. Chances are you will not finish the second pass, the second set of passes in 53 seconds. Fatigue's gonna set in, your heart rate's gonna get up, you're probably gonna finish it later. And what you wanna do is you wanna try to do as many cones, as many passes as you can without breaking that one minute time, okay? So if you got three sets in, well, fantastic. Then you can play with those sorts of times. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. You can do a one minute rest or work period with 20 seconds of rest. You can do 50 seconds of work, so you gotta go faster, and then give yourself a longer rest period. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. Just get your heart rate up. That's it with the cone hops. This is the single leg slalom. We're gonna lay more of these cones out. So you can see there's a whole bunch of them. I'm not gonna take out all 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven laid out. The single leg slalom is a one foot hop. You go in and around each cone. Then what I want you to do is focus on getting some distance. Jump yourself back to the start, to the start point and go through this again. Focus on small little hops through the slalom, then really pump yourself back to the beginning. And after a while, you get fatigued and that leg's on fire. Hop yourself back to the beginning. Once again, you can do it for time. You can give yourself a minute, 45 seconds. How many passes did you make? Then you're gonna switch and you're gonna go left leg. Time it, see which leg's faster. Then work on the slower leg. Go non-stop. Now, when you're doing the small hops around, I don't want you taking these really big hops. You're just sort of taking these little bunny hops to quickly make it around the cones. A lot of cones placed together means that you've got to take these short little choppy ones, which focuses on foot speed. Then when we have to get back to the starting point, you're gonna explode with that single leg and try to cover as much distance as possible. Because if you do those little choppy steps, you're, it's gonna take you seven seconds to get back to the beginning. You wanna just explode with that foot and launch yourself as far as you can. Um, as you build up strength over time, realize that maybe you'll get back to the start with only two hops. Or you originally start, or, I sort of babbled there. Originally, maybe it took you three hops. And you're like, you know what? I got back there in two hops. I'm getting stronger and fitter and better. That's the single leg slalom. Make sure you do it with the left leg too.